So Beatrice, I didn't know that actually Thales was present in the radiology domain. So what are you doing in this yeah. field? Yeah, it's true that uh, the, the role of Thales in radiology is not very well known by everyone. So I'm going to explain what is uh, radiology, what is a very large field, and what Thales is doing in this field. So first, radiology is everything which is related to the X-ray. Okay. And what Thales is doing in this uh, X-ray activity is the detection and the imaging. So we are doing detectors to capture the X-ray and transmit an image for the radiologist. So typically what happens is, uh, I don't know if anyone here had the opportunity or the bad luck to have a broken arm or broken leg. Then you go to the hospital, you will enter in the room and you will uh, be in a system, X-ray system. Typically you have an X-ray tube on top, table, and you, the patient will be on top of the table. So the X-ray will be sent through the body of the patient, for instance, let's say uh, the abdomen, and the Im information will be captured by the detector and transformed into an image, digital image, of course, that will be sent to what we call the PACS or the analyzing workstation for the radiologist to look into the image and diagnose the, the illness or the issue that we have. So this is what Thales is doing. So since 60 years now that we are equipping hospitals with detectors and just to give some route of idea, one exam of out of two in radiology in the world is done with a Thales detector in the install base. All right, so well, what, what benefits actually can AI and neural networks bring to radiology? Yeah, so it's true that uh, this is trending topic now, I think even more in here. Everyone is talking about artificial intelligence uh, in medical, in radiology, in all kinds of fields. So what we have done is we have analyzed and uh, think about what could be these benefits. We have discussed also with end users, of course, with radiologists and uh, with the medical uh, actors to see what could be uh, this benefit. We have identified at least two use cases in which the artificial intelligence could bring benefits to the radiology. The first one is, for instance, uh, first filtering for patients. So we'll do a thorax exam and the software developed by, uh, with the artificial intelligence will filter already the patients between there is an issue here or there is no issue. And this, of course, will give a first level of criticity to the radiologists to improve their work day, the, to focus their expertise really when it is necessary, when there is really an issue to focus on, and not when there is just typical screening, patient with no issue, we don't take that time. So benefit for radiologists is to improve their work day, the, the, the productivity in their work, of course for the hospital, immediate benefit also, because they can organize differently the radiology department. And finally, for all of us, potential patients for this kind of uh, exams, to have accurate diagnosis first, and second, expertise time of radiologists when it is necessary. All right, so you... But just this is one first case. There is a second one. Okay. For instance, if you have a given pathology like uh, tuberculosis, which is not very uh, typical in France, but it could be in other regions of the world, or a cancer nodule of lungs, which is typical everywhere in the world, unfortunately, we could have another application, which is uh, develop software to improve the detection rate. Again, not to replace the radiologist. This is not at all the goal of this kind of products, but to improve their work so they can go further when it is necessary. Like uh, you have a lung uh, nodule very small, mm -hmm. maybe because of time, lack of time, they cannot see or spend all the needed time to see it. So we could already highlight the issue with the software and then the, radi the radiologists will go further in the exams. Mm -hmm. So this is of course another use case with enormous benefit that to have an improved diagnosis or increased detection rate and gain some time and, uh, of course, some lives. Right, that's exciting, Beatrice. You said yourself AI is a trendy topic. Everybody's talking about it. We hear a lot every day, and especially in the medical field. So uh, it's not just a fad. It's really giving hope to patients, right? Yes. So uh, what would you like to say just to conclude this session? Yeah. So. Uh, it's true that uh, sometimes you say, okay, this is black bus, uh, you put something in, you get something out, is this really useful or not? Who knows? We really hope it is. Now for sure, this is a reality in radiology. When you see um, RSNA last year is the big congress for radiology in the world, held in Chicago in December. Complete area was dedicated for software with 
artificial intelligence. So there is something there. Now the, the key is who is going to bring to the market the product with more added value. And again, what is this added value? For sure, to have better diagnosis. Improve the, like you know, we saw just before, I don't know if you saw that, a human, enhance human with technology. But this would be kind of enhance the radiologists with this kind of tool. So they can improve their performance to be even better than they are today. So this is uh, what we are doing. We are uh, launching now a research project with uh, some radiologists and some end users to really understand what are their problems, mm -hmm. what they are looking to improve or to, to look uh, more in detail with X-ray imaging, of course, we are working in our field of F expertise, of which course. is the X-ray. So now we are doing this. And for sure, Thales is a good partner for that because we are investing in a research center de dedicated to get excellence on these technologies, big data, deep learning, artificial intelligence. So we count on this synergy to bring uh, to radiology this capability. So you're working with the French Society of uh, Radiology we are working with everyone who wants to work with us, <laughs> meaning that there are many radiologists that see like an opportunity. It's true that you can hear like, uh, is this going to replace radi radiologists? Okay, come on, let's be realistic. No, that's not the goal. We still need humans, right? You still need some expertise for sure and some good tools to enhance that expertise. And this is where we come into the game.